Hello everyone. Monte Carlo simulations are repeated measures of random sampling carried out in a computer to determine the uncertainty and statistical significance associated with that. In this video, I will try to present a Monte Carlo simulation for events having two outcomes. A simple example would be that of a coin toss, in which the outcomes are heads and tails. Let's say that when we toss the coin 100 times, we have 70 heads versus 30 tails. The question that we seek to answer here is whether this outcome is due to a bias in the coin or is it just a random fluctuation due to limited number of events. To answer this question, I will consider this 100 coin toss as a single event and then when this event is carried out across thousands, millions or billions of times, then what is the probability of observing a difference this or higher, which is also known as the p-value. To put a better comparison, I will draw two events analogously. Uh, the first one I have already mentioned. The second one has 55 heads and 45 tails. When they are subjected to the same number of simulations, we will try to find out the p-value. And to do this, I will run a Perl script. It can be run on any Perl compiler that is freely available from the web. So the program is user customized to allow inputs. I'll enter the inputs accordingly, 70 heads, 30 tails, and 100,000 simulations. Please bear in mind that increased number of simulations may take more time, but they are accurate. The, for the second case, I will try 40, 55 heads and 45 tails with the same number of simulations. Okay, so we see here that for 70, 30, the p-value is e to the power minus 05 and for 55, 45, it's 0.37. Let's return to our presentation. So this would mean that the probability of observing this much, at least this much, or a higher difference is e to the power minus 05 and for here it's comparatively much bigger. So this would mean that when the difference between the outcomes is wider, the chance of such an event happening decreases, which might indicate a bias in the system or in this case a coin and this would indicate a random fluctuation. For more ad advanced readings on Monte Carlo, please refer to these links. So the, uh, the code is available from Dr. Alexei Fedorov at the University of Toledo. This is the link to the lab website. Thank you.